Hi, Sheila. Hi, Denise. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Juanita. Hi, Linda. Hi, Jody. Oh, Jody, I love it too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, Denise, you are right. This one is gorgeous. Yeah, Jody, I can't quite tell which one I need. I kind of need them all, I think. Yeah, Jeff, super cute. All right, fashionistas, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Lindsay. I am at Ever After Jewelry Co. No, Jeff, there's no magic band on this one. Um, oh, Denise, yay, you get to come in on Monday. You're going to have so much fun. There's so many fun things out right now. So this is the Aristocats Dooney. It just dropped today, this collection. It is super cute. It is super girly and feminine and totally appeals to all the things that I love. It's kitty cats and ribbons and roses and pink, and I am pretty much in love with it. Okay, so there are three silhouettes in this collection. We have the little hobo. The hobo is $288. We have the zip zip satchel. And this satchel is $298. And then we have the tote back there. And the tote is $328. $328, yes. So let's take a look at the pattern. There are two kind of coordinating patterns. The tote has a static pattern, so you don't have to worry about placement at all. But even on the ones where you do have different placement, this particular design, oh, Vicki, I wish these were available in the UK too. Um, but even when you do have this kind of placement available, it's so good and so easy to find the placement. There's no zipper breaking up the front of the bags. The pattern is relatively small and constant throughout, so you get a nice repetitive pattern. These are perfectly done. Some of the best dunies that I've seen in a really long time. So this is our hobo. It has the little tassels on the side. The inside, look at this lining. Is that not the most gorgeous petal pink lining? Thank you, Jeff. This lining is amazing. Like I could almost just buy the bag for the lining. This is a big bag though. It's a big hobo. I was really hoping for like a tiny, cute little bag in this pattern. They're all kind of big, but that's my only disappointment in it. The pattern is adorable. The placement is fantastic. The lining is to die for. Even the trim is really pretty. This hobo satchel does not have a longer strap. So you can see on the inside, it's got zipper pockets, it's got organizational pockets, but there's no longer strap. So you can get a little bit longer than what they have here with this adjustable strap, but not too much. You can make it a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, but you're kind of stuck basically with that right there. Oh my goodness. Um, and here we go with the zip zip satchel. This is one of my favorite silhouettes to look at. I think it just has the classiest, most kind of almost vintage appeal. However, I have a couple of um, different silhouettes in this pattern, and I find that I don't use it quite as much. It's not as functional to me personally as, um, as some of the other silhouettes, even though it's one of my favorite ones to look at. It's not one of my favorite ones to use, if that makes sense. But it really is pretty. Like, I could almost just put this bag on display, and if I use it, great. And if I don't, I can just look at it because it's that pretty. So this one has a hang tag. These are all designed by Ann Shin, who is an artist that's done this whole Aristocats collection that you've probably seen. Um, different home things and pet things that are all kind of coordinating. And she is amazing. I love this collection. So this is the basic zip zip satchel. We see this in a lot of different ones. It does have the longer shoulder strap in there. That lining, every time I look at this lining, I'm just in love all over again. So here is the tote. 
Now the tote has just one placement instead of several. So you get all of our kitties on there, all of them, and they are super cute. And then you get the roses, which just makes it all girly. And the colors are gorgeous and amazing. And then the top has a little bit of that lining too. So you get to see just a little hint of it on the top and on the bottom. So if you're having trouble deciding between the two patterns, you sort of get a little bit of both with this one. This is a big tote. It's got the zip top. It does have the stand-up straps. I know some people have really strong opinions about those. I like the stand-up straps. They don't bother me. But some people aren't quite as in love with them. But this one is so cute. The back of it looks exactly like the front. The tote is great, Barbara. Great. I just can't get over the placement on these. So, of course, the tote has the static placement, so it doesn't matter. You're always going to get this beautiful picture no matter what. But I looked through a couple of the hobo satchels and the zip zip satchels while I was over there, and they all had really good placement. So I really, you know, if you can get these from Shop Disney, then you really don't have to worry too much about the placement. I think you're going to be pretty happy no matter what you get. They're fantastic. One more time, we're going to take a look at these because it's just the sweetest little pattern I've ever seen. There we go. And then one more look at that tote because it's so pretty. Yes, Ariana, I did share prices. Um, this one, our hobo satchel is two eighty eight. Our zip satchel is two ninety eight. And this one doesn't have a price tag on it, but the tote is three twenty eight. All right, you guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you are in love with these just like I am. And happy shopping.